It's Wednesday night, and you know what that means. It's time for some AEW Dynamite and the Jam Sun. With me, as always, is my broadcast partner, Brock Redhead. How are you doing tonight, Brock? I am fantastic. It is the go-home show before Bash at the Beach. I'm very excited. We are also doing, until further notice for the future years, two nights for my pay-per-views. Uh, Humanoid will be joining us in two months. Uh, ECW and Impact closed its doors last week. Damn. No more Shit ECW. Happens. It's not like it says uh, to, to Dylan. Na 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 na. <laughs> hey hey hey. Mid card. This is awesome. <laughs> All he got yeah, was dude. the mid card title. All his bluff and bluster at the beginning of the season. And like I told him, it's all about them views. And the viewers backed the right horse in this case. They did. And with that, Humanoid. Humanoid has a bit of a fire rate right under his ass now, coming to us in two months. Uh, are you at, at least a little bit nervous about what Humanoid's going to bring to the main roster? No, I'm actually entertained that I'll actually have less shows I have to watch and that it'll be more entertaining because I want to watch them. Damn, touche. Just saying, you know, it's nice to have two commentators all the time and the other two shows, well, it was a 50-50 chance. (laughs) Humanoid is looking over the roster right now. He's going to be adding people, uh, tracking people. I'm not going to include it. But I hope to God he looks at the tag team and goes, what's Orangehausen? I go, oh, it's a team that Josh and Jamsaw made. I hope he goes, do I need to use them? I'm like, no, you don't got to use them. All right, good. Then I want to but you should. Both, of them. <laughs> yes. both, of them. both removed. Not only will he keep them as tag, team, uh, tag teams, but he's going to also keep them as singles competitors, and they're going to run his division. Damn. Yeah, oh, Darby! God damn it. God damn indeed. Yep. Darby. That's what he do. Pitch him back. There you go. Damn. Oh, no, there you go. You know, Who knew like, skeletons could fly? You're goddamn right. You're goddamn. It's back in. Come on now. Throwing some punches. Yep, 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 yeah. The Gabagoo. Kia, indeed, the Gabagoo. Uh oh. Hit it, hit it, hit it, Spears, hit it, Spears, hit Staying it, Spears. hanging out in his uh, good buddy Derby's yeah. corner. Yep. This is also, just so so the folks know, Sean Spears' final appearance, because uh, in real life he. He left AEW, and this uh, was booked before that announcement happened. And as you either know or should know by now, when I uh, created my AEW, I said I'm going to use actual roster talent. So only people that are actually on the active roster will show up on my show. Doesn't mean all of them will, but any talent on my show are active roster. Ooh, I'm hoping... Humanoid uses Ronda Rousey since she uh, appeared in uh, uh, oh Ring God, of Honor. Where did she... Yeah, yeah, she just showed up in Ring of Honor. Boom! Coffin drop. Damn. That yep. was fast. Spears! Why the fuck would you... Oh, God damn it, Spears! He just had to disappoint you one last time, bro. (laughs) One last fucking time, dude. God damn. Yep. Here is your winner, Dirty Allen. Dirty (laughs) Allen. Which was 
was more of a disappointment? Knowing my standings on Spears, what was more of a disappointment for me? Spears losing his final match or uh, Brody Lee tapping out as much as he did to uh, Daniel Bryan in that Iron Man match? Well, probably the Brody Lee thing just because he passed away shortly after that. So it was... You know, I don't like to say, like, we push the future, you know, <laughs> but right. like losing that badly, I hope that was didn't, ridiculous. Yeah. I, I didn't want to tarnish the memory of someone like that, but you know, it happened. I can't go back and fix it. So fucking spears. Yeah. But that one was like, especially this one was especially disappointing for me. Cause like spears, I was hoping he would go somewhere, but you know, you're leaving AEW, fuck you. You can go out on a loss. <laughs> right. Damn, these are my boys. 2.0, also my boys. The Canadian Troubadours. Yep. The Conquistadors. No, no, no. They're not Mexican. Oh, okay. Yeet. Daddy Magic Matt Menard on the outside and in in the ring. Cool hand Angelo Parker. Ooh. Thank you, John. Did you say thank I, you, Jeff? No, I said thank thank you, Josh. Josh, okay. Yeah. Hey, this isn't Griff Garrison. Griff Garrison, thank you so yeah. much. In fact, I haven't seen Griff Garrison since season two, so yeah, I don't think we will. <laughs> so. Ooh, nice. Oh, yep, he stopped running as soon as he saw Brody come in. He's like, fuck me. Yep. He's like, I wish I got you quicker, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be fast this game. If you run too slow, it can really screw you over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, question for you. What? I already know the answer, but Die Hard. I did not. I didn't think you did, you son of a bitch. I will. I you will. keep saying that, but weeks go by and you haven't. You were supposed to watch it after Christmas, just after Christmas. We're now halfway th into the new year. You know, you know, I blame you. Because if you didn't, if if you didn't, if you just took my word for it and believed me, you would be a happy man right now. Who knows? You might have even won the lottery if you went to the gas station and bought a scratch off. If you just believed me and just lived your life, you would have been like, wow. No, my, because that underlying deception would have sit there and festered my, like a blistering wound until the pus came out and ruined our relationship because you lied to me, loved. motherfucker. I'm happy for him. But no, Liar. you had to be like, oh, so, so what did you think of it? And I and I could have said, oh, it was just a good movie, man. And you could have left it at that. But no, That's because I like, knew that you didn't watch it and I was trying to you catch you in your falsehoods ah. and your lies. Folks, John saw I've always told you the truth and I've watched every movie that or TV show that you suggested I watch. Oh, really? Did you watch... Uh, that bear movie that Coca I Yes, I watched book? Cocaine Bear. No, it was not Cocaine Bear. <laughs> you couldn't remember the name of it, so I just looked up bear movies and Cocaine Bear was there, so I watched that. So I'll tell you what, you watch Die Hard and I'll watch, like, Canadian Wilderness Bear or whatever the fuck it's called. Canadian Wilderness Bear. Well, that's how you described it. <laughs> Oh, GDT, come on now. What we'll do is, like, the next time we book a recording session, I'm just going to have Disney Plus open, and I'll share that on my screen, and we'll fucking watch it together, just so I can be sure that you actually watched <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, turn your camera on, bitch, so I see your face looking at the screen. I want you to, like, <laughs> let it play and go off and do something else. Anyway, folks, if, if you don't have a brother, this is kind of what brothers do. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There you go. And catch there you Half go. the people are like, man, I wish I had a brother. And the rest of them are like, fuck, I'm glad I don't have a brother. <laughs> <sighs> Matt Menard taking Brody King to the woodshed. Yep. Yeah. It's like, you're, 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 your turn now, cool hand. And he's like, uh-oh, motherfucker standing up. Get back down. Going for the sharpshooter. Nope, not a sharpshooter. Right. Ooh. Nope, he missed it. Yeah, I think unfortunately 2.0 is one of the few superstars that still have the most popular move in 2K22, and I end up seeing no. it every time they have a match. It's called Back Country. That's what it's called. It's called Suck These Nuts. That's what it's called. It's called, you're not gonna watch it. It's called, so uh, it, what's a come on go? No, Back Country is a 2014 Canadian nature survival horror film. Oh, you're talking Rick. about the m movie. I thought you were talking about the move. <laughs> no! Uh, it's directed by Adam McDonald. Yeah. Well, let's take a look on the services I subscribe to and see if it's playing anywhere. There you go. Nice. Get out of it. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Damn it. You do it to yourself, Brock. You do it to yourself. I hate it. I got a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. Okay, it is not on Netflix. You go pick them up. There it is. Ooh, whoop indeed. <laughs> Back. Nice. Ooh. There you go, motherfucker. I found it on Prime. It's on my list. I guarantee you the next time we record together, I'll be able to give you a book report detailed play-by-play -play of the <laughs> fucking movie. And this little bitch here still won't even know who John McClane is. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's Samuel L. Jackson, right? Yeah, uh, here we go. He's not even in that movie. At least not the first one. <laughs> nice. There you go. Come on now. Menard rolling out trying to save his life. Oh, going for that pin, but those feet are on the ropes, ref. What the fuck was oh, that? Oh, 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 oh. Menard Ice. getting his uh, oh. ooh, head rocked. Oh, Brody's calling for it. Yeah. King of the jungle, baby. Ooh, right on the neck. Cool hand Ange makes the save. Yeah. So just while we're watching this massacre happening, I, I gotta ask you, how do you feel about last week's performances of uh, Randall P. Fresh Orton and uh, Curtis Axel? 
Oh, Lord. Well. Curtis with a Q, by the way. Yes, Curtis with a Q. Yes. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? October. Yeah, Extreme Rules is going to be fucking crazy. Because it's going to be so much of the uh, uh, dress ups and everything. So that's going to be. Uh... So I'm thinking because uh, originally Extreme Rules was the Omni Wars. Okay. Because we're in. Week three. We're in July. Three. Yeah, we're in yeah. July right now. Uh, um, Omni Wars was supposed to be in October for Extreme Rules, but now it's going to be in August. So that was originally going to be a combined pay per view, our Crocs brand. But with yeah. that being now the Omni Wars, I, I'm thinking Extreme Rules is going to be our combined pay per view. And what's your pay per view com- this weekend? This weekend is uh uh this weekend is Night of Champions. It was supposed That's to be Money. It was, yeah, it was supposed to be Money in the Bank. But I changed it to Night of Champions because I don't want to do Money in the Bank just yet. I'll do an event, but not a pay per view because it's too early, in my opinion. Oh, I agree. But, I agree yeah, wholeheartedly. So, so uh, yes, yeah, so we'll figure that out. If you don't want Extreme Rules to be a combined pay per view because it's not the big four. Then we'll then I'll just run an extreme rules at horror show on my own, and uh, it'll be nothing but the best with a Juan Chena, a Baptista, uh, Curtis XL, Curtis XL, and Randy P. Fresh Horton. That's right. Damn. And, and who knows? Dope. Maybe we'll see El Rocher. El Rocher. Boom. Can you smell what El Roche has been cooking? Oh. <laughs> He'll come in with his uh, trunks, but an A for an on and a shut <laughs> Oh, nice. Chef El Roche. Chef er, the Chef El Roche. Yeah, the Chef El Roche. And I still got to double check that because I, I think El Roche might actually be the Roach. No, that's cu- Cucaracha. The, the, the Racha is a, a Roach. Well, from the Muppets? So, well, no, it's just like in, in Spanish, I'm pretty sure Roach oh. is Racha. Because oh, Cucaracha okay. is Cockroach. So if you're shortening it to Roach, it would be Racha. Oh, so okay. the, the Roche, I'm pretty sure, is a rock because... Spanish and French are very close, and in French, right. a rock is a rush. Okay. Oh, nice. Or maybe we can make the ranch. Uh, we can make him uh, instead of El Roche, because he's a chef now. He can be French. He can be a uh, chef La Roche. Chef La Roche, La Roche, La Roche, because that's the French. Oh God! Oh God! Uh, can you be smelling what the rock is uh, cooking in his fine dining establishment? <laughs> I like it. And we'll lift off his hat, and we'll see. There's a little rat under there pulling his hairs. Oh, he's bald. Oh. He has no hairs. <laughs> then Jericho will be a wizard. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> The oh, Dark Sorcerer, Lord Jericho. And Humanoids will be... Ooh, it was supposed to be a crossover with the UK. Does he even know any of the UK wrestlers? I don't know. Because for Ring of Honor, it was supposed to be Honor United for October. And for Impact, for March, it was Multiverse United. So, and these are actual shows. These are actual shows. Was he going to do, like, a bunch of, like, Superman, Batman shit? (laughs) No, no, no. Like, no, no, no. The thing was just called the Multiverse United, but it was UK stars. They both were going to do it. They're both actual shows with the Mm. respected brands. I have never heard of Multiverse United from Impact before. Yeah. 
But, I mean, to be fair, I haven't paid a, a lot of attention to them since, like, the main event Mafia days. Oh, yeah. Even Aces and Eights, I barely paid any attention to it. At one point, I think there was, like, 30 guys in the Aces and Eights, and I'm like, ugh, this is just NWO over again. Yeah, so just a quick thing. It's Multiverse United, mark, marked as Multiverse United. O only the strong survive was professional wrestling pay-per-view co-produced by Impact and New Japan Pro Wrestling. So it wasn't UK, it was New New Japan. By the way, as part of... Uh, as part of Russell New Japan has a lot of UK wrestlers in it, though. Like, they had Will Ospreay, Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, oh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, I'm blank. There's like two or three other British wrestlers whose names I'm blanking on. I feel really bad because they're really good. Yeah, so uh, they've had two, I believe. Yeah, they've only had two. Yeah, so. And New Japan was like, now we got to deal with AEW, so fuck y'all. <laughs> exactly. Taking over Honor United, so if he doesn't know a lot of New Japan stars, then uh, you might have to help us out. Ooh. You may indeed. Whoop, there it is, folks. Damn. I got a day. Double team. I got Boom. A day. I got a day. I got, got, got a day. Oh. Boom. Yep. What goes up must roll out of the ring. You damn right. There's no way Brody King's gonna fly. Oh, boom! Make sure to wrench his neck right off his shoulders. Will he succeed? Mm -hmm. There you go. Rolling him back in the ring, up to a six count, getting back in. Here we go, gonna try and choke slam him. Yeah, he's trying. Oh, maybe partner. not. <laughs> Never mind. Well, that's mind games, man. He makes him think he's gonna choke slam him, and then goes for the low blow. Man, you wouldn't think a big dude like that could run us so well. Right? Oh, buddy gets clipped in the face by that elbow. But uh, Brody's got his partner spotted. Whoa. And a kick to the guts. Oh, thanks for oh. seeing that thing. Thanks for seeing that tag, by the way. I didn't know what that was. What? What are you talking about? On Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a... There's these scams going around. If you see something going like, Oh, I can't believe that happened. Or, oh, this is a tragic accident. This is just scams to get people to click on something. And it usually leads to something malicious that will download and, and spread that kind of bullshit to other people. It's just garbage, and it's a waste of time. It's a garbage, yo. It's a garbage. Much like Die Hard. And I'm sure even the person that it looks like posted it isn't even really the person that posted it. Right. They just, that person just happens to have an open profile where people can see who their friends are, so they're using some sort of, like, cloning technique to make it look like it's coming from them on your wall. And it's yeah. not really them. Because if you went to their wall, you'd see they don't have anything on there. There you go. That's Thanks good tag. news for all of you viewers, too. If you see weird shit on Facebook, don't just click links. You can download harmless shit on your machines, and I'm sure most of you are not high end security it. people. <laughs> so. Right. And I'm very naive to uh, that shit, too. 
Well, I mean, that's how they get you, right? What, how do you get someone to click on something? Either make it really bad, sad news, or make it something that seems really nice and exciting. Right. And it, it, it'll convince you to click on it without thinking. You're like, oh no, who died? I don't want to be sad. Hopefully it's not someone I like. Oh! Cool. Damn! And Damn! Oh, he's not oh. done yet. He's like, fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. So what does this mean for uh, 2.0? Well, it mean, well, 2.0 right now are the champs. They won those belts. And uh, technically speaking, because uh, uh, House of Black was the champs, Last month, they were kind of the number one contenders, but seeing as 2.0 beat them, they're out of the run. We, we got to figure out a new number one contender, or we're just going to throw a bunch of teams in a match and see who comes out of it on top, which means that 2.0 is going to get a buy, and they don't have to defend their titles at the paper. Oh, I like it. No oh, hater. I don't even know her, but I Yo. she to. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I think she to won last week, if I'm not mistaken, against Brit. Uh, last week, uh, yeah, she to beat Brit Baker. So looking to try to keep that streak going in a ladder match. Or a TLC, I can't remember. No, I think it said ladder in the opening. Nice! Nice, baby. And Sheeta was uh, uh, season one and two. Uh, she was season one winner of the women, uh, uh, Omni Wars. Omni. Yeah. Well, women's world champion, and she went in defending it in season two. Indeed, she did, and she got schmazzed out of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, of course you don't. Of course you don't. As soon as it comes down to you and your inability to watch Die Hard, you're all quiet. <laughs> uh. I swear to God, what would. What I would love is for you to finally watch it and see how good it is and then be like, this is my favorite movie of all time. I'm going to watch this every Christmas. It is the best Christmas movie ever. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> hey man, I don't ask for a lot from you. You know, I'm asking you for very simple things like watch Die Hard and call it a Christmas movie. There's presents in it, there's Christmas trees, there's decorations, a Christmas party. It happens on Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People say Merry Christmas to each other in it. Folks, I will give it a chance. I will watch it. He's just... He says this, but he said this before, folks. He's a filthy liar and we can't trust him. Remember, he's he's the one who, who hears, this is Friday. I'm just I saying, know. folks. <laughs> be real careful with your expectations around how. We're at two, three. Cheetah might take it. Come on, Cheetah. Three. Cheetah, Oh. oh, Hater does not get it in time. Kid, if that was a fifth knot, she would have stopped it. God damn it. So it's looking like Sheeta's going to be going up against uh, uh, to uh, Tony Storm, our world champ, at the pay-per-view. So my question is, now that, we're, now that we move the Omni Wars and everything and we're approaching the end of the season with Josh... Are you going into this year's Omni um, Wars? Well, this final year for for Omni um, Wars, and then at the end of this year, we're starting a new thing with Humanoid. But with this being the final one, are you going in with a uh, with a different mindset, or like uh, what's your game plan? Because uh, usually, what Josh and I do is we put our champions and matches and everything 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's your uh, what what's your mindset going into this final final? Well, my, one? my mindset man, is that I'm gonna take my champions, right, the people that are holding a belt, and I'm gonna send them into that match, and they're gonna win those belts, or they're gonna lose Damn. those belts, either by pinfall submission or maybe even a knockout. I don't know what rules you're gonna put in place for these uh, these triple threats. Easy. ECW. But, oh, fuck that ECW rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ain't gonna fly. So tonight we're having a battle of the Adams. Adam Cole, Adam Copeland, Adam Page. Damn. Ooh, Chavo to the face. I do the face. I do the face. Oh, to the back of the head. Oh, Kendo to the chest. And the head. And the head. And the head. Oh! Oh, knee to the guts. Nice. Nice. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, big power bomb for Adam Cole and then a knee to the face. Copeland looking at dismantling. Oh, another knee to the face. Copeland really focusing on Cole. I don't know if they have some some previous beef I'm unaware of, but uh, nope, now changing it up. Putting Copeland down, Page flying knee to the face. To the face. To the face. Up in the air. Boom. Nice. Nice baby. Do 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 do. Oh! Oh, to the head. Yep. Oh. Working that knee. Kendo's to the head. Oh. Oh. Yep. Damn. Oh, Cole unable to use that ladder. Man. Kendo's to the face. Copeland says, no way, Jose. I'm going to beat you with this stick. Adam Cole smartly just chilling in the ring, showboating. Nice, nice, nice. Baby, baby, baby. Do 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 do. <laughs> Copeland standing strong in the ring. Page runs in. Boom! Huge oh, knee to the face. Goes for the cover. One, two. Damn. Cole oh, didn't even make the save. Cole was gonna let it go, too.
Here we go. Done. Here we go. This is how you get out of it. A little acrobatics. There you go. And it was Pan Boom! Sunrise in Panama. Oh! Cole, look into those ropes for some stability. Copeland, just mercilessly working him on those ropes. Oh! Falls to the outside and the cowboy looking for. Oh, I thought he was going to go for that fucking uh, lariat, but I guess not. No. Here we go. Maybe this time. Buckshot lariat incoming. Boom! But Cole's nice. like, eat the hammer. Oh. go that's what you got to do one two copeland kicks out it's funny i could totally call this go. match dif differently if i wanted to it's like we got adam about to kick adam in the face with adam on the outside adam going for the cover on adam and adam wins <laughs> damn Hey, Copeland didn't get pinned, so I guess that's... I mean, I, I want him to continue for a few years, so I need him to play it safe. No, I agree. He's got to protect that neck. Yes. But Adam Cole winning this match here tonight qualifies him uh, in our main event at Bash at the Beach. We're going to be seeing Adam Cole, Samoa Joe... And MJF in a triple threat for the AEW title. Damn. You goddamn right. Following that up, we've got ourselves a TBS championship match. AEW, excuse me, champion, or a blah, blah. TBS champion, Addy Anna J. God damn, let's r r r rewind. Start that again. TBS champion Anna Jay going one on one with Chris Statlander for that title. Ooh. Okay, okay. Chris Statlander was blowing people out of the water earlier this month, so Anna Jay had to give her an opportunity. Most people would say, you're, but, 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 Chris Jericho, you're crazy. Why are you giving her opportunities here? When you could save it for the pay-per-view. It's because it's what the people want. It's what people they need. want AEW to win. So Statlander's a stronger women's mid-card champ to go into Final Omni. Yeah. Damn. To say that's coming to an end, man, it kind of fucking sucks. Yes and no. You know, it's like it's evolving. I'm looking forward to Jericho uh, Omni Zone Wars 3.0. Yeah, this is like the third adaptation, but hopefully this is the final one for like the next five to seven years. It's the final Omni Wars. Do 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 do. <laughs> Um, Omni War Games just, just rolls off the tongue. It does indeed, man. Ooh. The Jericho presents Omni War Games. 
and 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 it's gonna be great with me taking all the titles home, all the vacant titles home. Yeah, and then you have to wait Brock, a whole nother yeah, year. Is it Brock? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I don't think yeah. so, bro. Yeah. You know, since I'm recording all the big four and I control, you know. Yeah, I know. That's why if I do win them all, it's a schmoz fest. And we know it. You heard it here fir- first, folks. He threatened. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm in control of this show. I will lower your overalls to like zero. And my overalls to 100. And then you're fucked. Yeah, but you probably still fucking win it. If Jericho's somehow in it, but Jericho doesn't have a title and he doesn't have a title shot, so Jericho's not going into this Omni War. Damn, this will be... Damn, I think this is the first Omni Wars he's not a part of. That's true. Unless I put him in a mid-card title and he goes after the mid-card. You son of a bitch. (laughs) You son of a bitch. Statlander, come on now. Now, I like Christian having the title right now. And although I know Danhausen, uh, or sorry, Danhausen has the title right now, Christian's gonna re challenge for it at the pay per view, and I want Christian to win. Mm-hmm. Well, I will give you some, uh, I'll give you some news to sit on for the next few days p- till Friday. At the Go Home Show for Friday Night SmackDown, we're having a co-main event for Sin Bodhi's Intercontinental title. Ugh. And I'll give you one hint on who it is. And Randall P. Freshwarden. He, no, he's not Intercontinental, sir. The person Santino Morello. No, is a former WWE champion. Juan Chang. Oh. Juan, attack you son of a bitch. <laughs> Ooh, nice. So I'll let you yeah, I don't think I don't think John's ever won the IC belt. I know he's been US, I know he's been world. But I don't think he's ever held the IC belt. Nope, but he's so close to being a uh, Grand Slam champion. Yeah. That's right, he's been tag hey, champ as well. But never yep. never uh, intercontinental. He was tag champ with uh, Shawn Michaels, David Otunga, uh, I believe Randy Orton, too. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought he was with Orton. Not for long, but he was. Nice. Nice. Nice, baby. Tag champ with the people he's beating with. Like, it's never like a Super Cena team. Well, I, I kind of like it that way, right? Some people, like even The Rock, the closest The Rock had to like a big time tag was The Rock and Saw connection, and it was still, it was Mick Foley. Yep. But I mean, winning it with Shawn Michaels isn't bad. It's like DX if DX had a rapper in it. Oh, yeah. Winning with Randy Orton isn't bad. I mean, fucking rated RKO were, were a fantastic tag team for quite some time. Yeah. It'd be like if DX didn't have X Pac, but instead they had Vanilla Ice. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Oh, yeah, this is our main event, too, so. Yes, That's sir. why it's a championship match. Getting her back in the ring. Yep. And Anna Jay's our champion? Currently, yes. I believe she won it at the beginning of the month or mid month, I can't remember. But she won it back from whoever beat her. Well, in week two, uh, in week two, Statlander defeated Jay in a non-title match. Yeah, which is why she earned this shot. Yep. There's been some back and forth between these two, and 
I wanted to see that story further progress. Oh, he, she's calling for it. And it. Oh, it stopped. And it's just like, good night, bitch. Yep. Thank you for coming. We will now be going to sleep. Damn. Statlander, fight it. She's fighting. Statlander. Ooh, she gets out of it. Not too many people can say they broke out of that. Nope. Throwing her into the corner head first. And oh, damn. The Miz had a great drive by. I don't care what anybody says. I think the Miz is highly underrated. Yes. Here we go. She's calling for another one. Do you think Jay will be able to reverse this one? Oh, no. Oh, to the face. Damn. I, oh, I thought she was God going for a second. Damn. Uh, she oh, breaks no, out of it. I thought it was over. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Turnabout is fair Ooh. play. Oh, this is going to hurt. Too much showboating, though. Taking too much time. They're just going to make her angry. Oh, you wouldn't like her when she's angry. No, you wouldn't. Oh, oh damn. She lands it. Boom! Pick her up. And spin and a oh, drop. Stairs. Getting her back in the ring because she knows in order to win this, she's got to pin her inside the ring. And now she calls for it again. This could be it. Oh, Chavo. Statlander, give it. Or Damn. Stat. Jay given up to Statlander. She's taking it away and becoming the uh, new TBS champ. Going into the pay-per-view. So we, we may see a rematch of this and with some sort of stipulation in the pay-per-view. I mean, this is what the people want to see. It was a fantastic match. It was beautiful. I'm very excited for uh, who you're bringing to Omni Wars. I'm excited for uh, the finale with Josh, and I'm excited to see what you do with your Canadian brother that is humanoid. Well, like we always see, Barack, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Links in the description. Go watch his shit. Watch my stuff. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you're not down with that, we've got three words for you. Always phenomenal. Peace. Peace.